So I'm Fiona Patton and I am the voice of reason in Victorian Parliament. I have a deep interest in drug law reform and in how we can reduce the harm of drugs in our society. North America is facing an opioid crisis where in Vancouver alone, four people a day are dying from opioids. And so I was meeting with people to see how they were addressing that. We will see this similar type of increase in opioid deaths in Australia. It's already happening, so we need to prepare. Probably the most exciting part of the tour was also being in Oshawa when the Senate debate on cannabis legalisation began. Cannabis will be legal in Canada on the 6th of June. Now what the regulations and what the law looks like is still up in the air and that will be debated uh, via amendments in the Senate, but the first Commonwealth country uh, in the world will be legalising cannabis across the board, not just for medicinal use as they've had for two decades, but for adult use. It will be regulated, it will be taxed, and most importantly, they've put health at the top, revenue way down the bottom, um, which is unlike what we've seen in jurisdictions in the United States. So I think we're getting closer, uh, but we need to present a good policy. We need to present a system of regulation that is health focused, not revenue focused. And that is what I've been developing. And through the drug law reform inquiry that just reported a couple of weeks ago, there is chapters of how that model might look. And Australia, while we are a federation, each state is different. So that model is going to be different in Victoria as it is to Queensland. And I would like to see Victoria take the lead uh, in legalising the adult use of cannabis. Yes, it's nice to see the Greens catching up. I'll, have you, I'll agree with that. I, I guess this has been something that I have been deeply interested in. So I am not all that satisfied with uh, the policies that they are putting forward, but I do believe we are on the right track. And when we've got California, Canada, Colorado, and nine other states in the US, we've got New Zealand having a referendum on cannabis law reform in the next 12 months. Uh, things are moving. The majority of Australians want to see law reform. Yeah, I was really pleased to have been at this 420. I have been at the 420s uh, since their inception really um, in 2010 in Victoria. I've seen the numbers grow, but then I saw them starting to wane. And this was because of a very heavy police presence at some of the 420 rallies. It was really great to see last Friday, the very few police there, the fact that they were there to observe. And when you've got 5,000 people in one space, it's nice to know that there's police there if anything was to happen. Uh, but as we know, at a 420 rally, it's a celebration, it's happiness, it's, there's certainly no aggression there. And apart from great plumes of smoke, uh, I wouldn't say that there's, there's anything dangerous. So I'm Fiona Patton and I am the voice of reason 